Dude, four closings in six months, I'm telling you right now, is fire. Okay. What do you mean, okay? That didn't sound good. Well, no, I have higher expectations, but... Bro! I've been slacking with my... Are you... Man. Is this a joke? Was that a joke? What a joke. That you expected more? No, 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 it's not a joke, no. See, what did you expect? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, I wanted I wanted to do three... I mean, the first year isn't over. I want to do three and a half million. Who cares what you say you want to do? You don't even... You don't understand the business. So, like, what puts you at the point that that you can actually decide how much you're going to sell. You don't even know how to, when you get into the business, you don't even know how to do a transaction. So how can you put a, a number on how much you're going to sell and then get upset with yourself when it doesn't happen? Just trying to set expectations and, you know, goals. And But listen, listen, everything in real estate, bro, is needs to be, you need to be focused on year number two. Okay. Like year number two needs to be your breakout six figure year. Year number one, you did four in your first six months. If you close another 10, let's say, and you get to 14, or let's say you even get to 20, that's going to be a lot more than three and a half million right there. But the fact is, is that who cares about that? Because the first year you're learning how to do a transaction, write a contract, learn MLS, learn how to talk to people, create a database do all the follow-up, put everybody in your CRM, do all that stuff so that you actually have this foundation in place to really crush it year two. Like all your expectations should be year two, right? After you actually learn the business a little bit and then you have a better idea okay. of what your expectations need to be. You know what I mean? Okay. People are, yeah. people are putting too much weight on year one when all the weight needs to go on year two after you've learned everything in year one. And then people are like having like mental breakdowns and like, um, you know, complete like down spirals and, uh, you know, depressions and stuff because their first year they didn't sell 30 properties or they didn't do what they thought they were going to do or whatever. And it's like, none of that even means anything. Like you got in this business to be in it for 30 years who cares what we did year one as long as we're learning how to do the business? Let's focus on year two, three, and four, right? Well, it makes sense. Yeah, sure. The average agent that actually survives in the business sells their first property in month number six. On average, new agents sell pro sell their property, their first property in six months, right? On average. Okay. Do you understand? 90% of agents don't make it through the first couple of years. So here you are. The average is six months to one deal. You've done four deals in six months and you're like, well, I, I don't know. I, I just, I was just hoping for more.